Hello, everybody, and welcome to session two of our program evaluation class. Um, today should be exciting. It's mostly a review of how to do regression. Um, so if you've taken a stats class or two in the past, this should be fairly easy. If you haven't, um, I've designed this to be um, hopefully easy to understand. It's kind of um, helping us get a baseline for the rest of the models that we'll be running throughout the semester. Um, as we'll learn, most everything in this causal inference world is based on regression. And so understanding how to interpret regressions um, is crucial for the rest of the class. And so this week, um, both in this lecture and in the assignment, you'll get lots of practice running regressions in R and then interpreting the results. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the slides and see what we're going to be covering today. Um, so the plan for today is first we'll talk about how to draw lines using math. Um, which is really just the core of regression. That's all we're really doing when we run a regression model. We're drawing a line through points and then um, figuring out the math behind all of those, uh, behind the line. Um, then we'll talk about um, how the lines we draw map onto this idea of regression, especially when we talk about taking samples from a population and making inferences about the population. Um, in the past, you may have been exposed to a whole bunch of different equations with Greek letters and with um, Latin letters. Um, we're going to talk about those letters and those equations and hopefully make it um, fairly easy to remember how to tell the difference between the different types of letters and what all of these equations actually mean. Um, this is the most equation heavy section of the class. Um, you'll see lots more equations in all of your readings in the future. You can kind of like glance over those. Um, you can glaze over them if you want. They're not super important. Um, but what, what is important is it's, it's a way of communicating what the actual model is. And so we'll get practice um, looking at the different um, parameters in equations. And then finally, we'll talk about what statistical significance means. Um, if you've taken a stats class, um, you covered this. This is kind of the core of inferential statistics. You do a regression, you figure out the difference in means, you do something, and there's always a p-value. And you always have to remember, do we want p-values to be less than 0.05 or more than 0.05? And what does that mean? Um, so what we'll cover is just kind of review of what that means, what statistically significant means, and then how to interpret these p-values when you see them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 